a uh, really uh, poor effort by our club today. We just we just didn't play very well in every area. And you know, Kentucky's a good team, and we walked them and hit them nine times. And um, we we didn't do a good job defending the running game. Um, and you know, you can't play a good team and give them that much. Um, they're going to take advantage of it. And to their credit, that's exactly what they did. So we want a different result tomorrow. We we got to play better. We absolutely got to play better. When it comes to the team at Kentucky that Bunts uses like a lot of fundamental baseball, what is it? How hard is it to kind of like just defend, prepare the defense for? Well, you know, we practice that stuff a lot. They're, you know, they're really good at it because that's their personality. You know, they don't have a lot of physicality and power. And, um, you know, that's why you want to have balance in your program because there's going to be weekends the wind's howling in and you're not going to get extra base hits, which is exactly what's going on this weekend. And if you can't hit doubles and homers, then you have to create, you've got to string together five or six singles uh, or the take advantage of what the other team gives you. Kentucky has done a great job this weekend of not giving us anything. They've thrown a ton of strikes. Uh, they've defended the field fairly well. Uh, they haven't given us a lot of base runners. Uh, and you start trying to get six singles in an inning to score two runs, that's, that's pretty challenging to do. Um, and the flip side of that is we've given them a lot, you know, um, and to their credit, they've taken advantage of that. When it comes to picking the Aussie, he kind of struggled recently, but he did go to four today. He did get RBI. How's it like kind of seeing at least him progress back to, you know, his early season slate? Which way, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah, Andrew's, you know, he hasn't been his best the last, you know, week and a half or so. He's been a little bit off. And um, typically baseball works that way. Like if you're a 300 batting average hitter, you don't go three for every 10, right? There's ebbs and flows. And um, as a coach and as a player, you're trying to, to minimize that. Um, and when they get a little bit off, get them back on track, you know, really fast. So, um, you know, Andrew's making some progress. He's still um, chasing outside the zone a little bit more than I'd like to see him or a little bit more than he does when he's going well. But um, we need to get him going because he's a big part of our team. Coach, what's your thought process putting uh, Max Williams in the starting lineup tonight in right field and shifting Pinkney over to center? Because you just mentioned uh, Pinkney's had a bit of an ebb and flow this season, but obviously still want to keep him in the lineup. So why was it Williams getting the start tonight? Yeah, well, Caden's a little dinged up, so it's kind of a day-to-day -day deal, but Caden just wasn't, per the athletic trainers, wasn't available to play today. So um, just Max has had some good at-bats, you know, the last couple of weeks when he's gotten in there, he's done a good job, and um, I thought we'd give him a, a shot today. Speaking of which, is Thomas Allen good or just a regular substitution when you, when you pulled him? Yeah, no, he's healthy. Um, you know, Strickland's got a really good breaking ball, probably throws his breaking ball for strike better than um, his fastball, and that's – not a strength that Tom is, and you know, it was the fourth inning. We were chasing a crooked number, and kind of, you know, didn't want to wait till the eighth or ninth. I felt like we kind of had to start taking our shots early. Um, and uh, Hammy came off the bench and gave us a, a big base hit, helped us get a run. You've seen your team play five games of SEC ball now. What are you kind of learning about this team now that you had some games under your belt? I, I still really like our team. We got a lot of good players. Um, you know, we got to play better. Are we the team that? Um, that played down in Gainesville, or are we the team that's played here the last two days? And, and you know, you've kind of seen two way different teams. So um, <clears throat> we got 25 league games left. If we can compete uh, and play the way that we played in Gainesville, we're going to have a great season. And uh, if we play the next 25 like we played the last two, we're, it's going to be tough. So I, I like our team a lot. We just haven't played well the last two days. And, and really, I would even say Tuesday with that. Um, but I still really like our club. We've got really good players, but we need to play better. Today might have been. Today might have been a great example of it, but the pitching has actually been pretty solid. I think um, we didn't get to talk to you yesterday, but I forgot who started. The heads did really great yesterday. What did you kind of see from him, you know, after his start? Yeah, Ben's been doing a great job. Um, you need somebody on Friday that pitches, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh inning, and, and Ben's done that virtually every time that he's pitched. So, um, you know, he's the least of our worries. I thought he was magnificent yesterday. Um, you, you know, we're, we're going to pitch well this year. We have stuff, and we have enough strike throwers. and. Obviously, you know, Furtado wasn't his best today, and, and Brock Blatter wasn't very good, but um, and Holman wasn't as sharp as he has been, but um, I thought I thought Luke pitched better than his stat line, um, and then I thought Zane Probst and Connor Ball did a good job for us today. So, you know, we got to get the right guys in the right roles, um, you know, a little better, but I, I think we'll be just fine on the mound going forward. Yeah.
kind of going back to the hitting, you guys left 12 guys on base. What what was it that kind of hindered the offensive team to hitting with runners in scoring position or runners in position at all? Yeah, we were incredibly inefficient. You know, you look at the line score and we all hit them 12 to 9 and lost 9 to 5, you know. So that's Kentucky being really efficient um, and, and us giving them a lot and us being incredibly inefficient. You know, I think that's kind of been the story, one of the stories the last, these two games is, you know, Kentucky's finding a way to foul off some tough two-strike pitches. They find a way to put the ball in play with a runner at third base, and we've been terrible. I mean, Drew Williamson takes three pitches middle-middle of the bases loaded and doesn't swing the bat. I mean, talking about a 23-year-old that's a really good player. I mean, those are good pitches to hit, you know, not 50-50 ball strikes. I, I don't know how to coach that. Um, you know, in the some of our at bats with the runners at third and less than two outs the, the last two days have been terrible, and that's one of the reasons why we're 0 2. Any other?